Hi everybody, I'm Sam, and I'm a water quality specialist. And what I want to do today, I'm actually independent, and what I want to do is just give you an overview of the water analytics system. I'm going to highlight some key benefits and key uniquenesses about the system. At the same time, give you some prompters of things you might want to research or consider when it comes to us making a selection. So first of all, you'll see that it's a full stainless steel cover. Now this is really important because it protects the whole unit. There are some on the market that are made out of plastic, some are made out of steel. The problem with plastic is that it doesn't last as long. The problem with steel is that steel rusts. You might want to consider that if you live in a coastal area. The stainless steel, built to last. So you'll also see a couple of other things for long I remember. You'll see there's a bypass valve down the bottom here. So the whole idea is that the system, if you want to use your dirty water, then you can, you just bypass it, you don't have to use your filter. So if you want to do your driveway, clean your girding, do things like that, you can do so. The other thing too, while I remember, is that the system is totally relocatable. Now their lifetime warranty goes with the product, not with the house, it goes with you. So if I take the cover off, you'll see that it's full stainless steel gate, full stainless steel frame, all powder coated. The gauges are stainless steel, you can run a magnet over the entire system and it's not going to stick anywhere. That's how you know it's quality stainless steel. The other thing too, you can't really see it here, but these entry points and exit points inside are made out of brass. And that's really important because there's some on the market that are made out of plastic. Plastic just won't last as long as brass. It will deteriorate over time. And because of its grade, because of its construction and the high quality components, water analytics give you a lifetime warranty. Now, it's not a limited lifetime warranty. It's actually on parts the labor of the whole lot. You might want to check that when you look for competitors with their warranty states. I've noticed personally some that are on just on, on parts and not on labor. So consider all those things when you're evaluating lifetime warranty. So you'll see that the next thing is that these large cylinders are 20 inch in size. That's another important top point. There are some on the market that are 10, 15, even 19 and a half, which is an odd size. In fact, all of them are odd sizes. The problem with odd sizes is that you're locked into that company, you can't get them from anywhere else. 20 by 4.5 is the worldwide international standard, so you can get them from anywhere. But the thing is, because Water Analytics works very, very, well, they collaborate exclusively with Curtin University in Western Australia, which is the Australia's highest authority when it comes to water filtration, then as they're developing filters, next time you get another release there, I think they're on version two now, they're about to go version three, generation three filters, then you get always updated technology. So when you replace your filters, it doesn't cost you any extra, but you're always getting the advanced technology, so you're never out of date. Now, the other thing too, is that when you've got smaller systems, you can be more prone to water pressure drop. So a 20 inch system frees you of that, okay? The other thing too is because you've got a smaller system, you're going to be likely to change filters more often. It's just logic. I'll show you one in a sec and just give you an example. So the way it works is that the first, the water comes in through here, the first filter is sediment, one micron. It's another thing you got to consider. There's many on the market that look the same. In fact, the biggest mistake I see people make is thinking they're all the same. But there's some on the market that are two micron, five micron, 10. Well, two even, which is probably the closest, is a one. That's a 50% variation. So sediment filter takes out the dirt, rust, sand, corrosion, concrete, anything that's in the water. They literally look like this when they come out. This is what they look like when they go in. This is what they look like when they come out. Anytime you see those on Facebook or around the place, they're not Photoshopped, they're real. First time I changed mine, then I had to, I realized how important it is to wear gloves, so I recommend you do that. That's dried up now, but when it comes out fresh, it's literally really, really brown. Water and Loose gives you this one every six months for free as part of the lifetime warranty. You're gonna to wanna to change it because it, that's how bad they are. Now, here's an interesting point. If you go back to the filters that were 10 inch, for example, that's half the size of this. This gets changed every six months. If you had a 10 inch filter, you'd be changing it every three months. Just logic. Once that one's done, it goes into the next filter, which is a special activated coconut carbon, quite superior to normal carbon. And that 
is used for 99% filtration and removal of chlorine. It's another important point. You've got to ask specifically what percentages and how much is removed. Chlorine, 99%. At the same time, that cylinder there takes out the hardness out of the water. Calcium and magnesium. Shower screens are hard to clean. Appliances, lime scale, protect your appliances, take those things out. Once that's done, it goes into the final stage, which is a KDF 55, which is essentially heavy metals removals. Lead, mercury, arsenic, all those type of nasties. And there you have it, folks. In through here, go through the three stages, comes out. These two here, because they're tw in this whole system, because these are 20 inch, then you don't have to replace these. You've got up to 18 months before you need to replace them. 12 to 18 is a good guide, but you can easily get 18 months, depending on your configuration of engineering and usage of your family. Um, folks, that's about it. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, if you've got any other further questions, then simply reach out.